everyone. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for joining me here in Slovakia and the Carpathian countryside. Now, I just could not pass up on an opportunity to play on this map. I absolutely love it. It's a very, a very cool map. Nicely done. Awesome, unique features in the main farm across the road. Um, so if you haven't seen this map before, I do have a map tour of it. If you want to, feel free to check that out. I will put a link down in the description. So please go and check it out if you haven't seen it. But awesome map. So I don't want to turn this into any sort of map tour or anything like that. But I spent a few days umming and ahhing about how I was going to come on here and start and things like that. I didn't want to do a whole sort of survival thing uh, or start with old equipment, things like that, because I'm kind of doing that on Solendra on my Vintage Experience series. Again, if you haven't seen that, please go and check it out. And that is a bit of a struggle on there, but I'm hoping it's not going to be as a struggle on here because the fields are bigger, for one. And I have come on here in new farmer mode because I thought let's just get on the map and play it and hopefully all you awesome people will carry on watching. Um, so yeah I thought I would do that but we are going to slightly tweak it because you do start off quite a lot of equipment so let's get over to the farm and then I'll talk you through what we're hopefully going to be doing but this it's just fantastic. I just love this little entrance area. We can go in. We will shut that behind us. I mean, just all in through there. We've got sleeping quarters up there for, like, obviously the workers of the farm. Now, obviously, it's probably not been used for a little while. There's no animals on here. And that is probably one of our main goals on this series is to get all these animals up and running fully maxed out with the pens so we've got two cow barns and a pigsty which is just over there so i would like to get those guys going and we also do have a horse pasture now i know in 22 the horses aren't as profitable as what they were in 19 and i haven't really done horses for that reason so even if I think we we'll just get one or two, I don't really want any more than two because obviously we do need to do the riding and things like that. But because it's here, I would like to use it because I came on here again when I was just messing around looking. You can delete pretty much everything on this farm, all the buildings. You can get rid of that, but it just leaves, as you can imagine, a great big empty gap there and it just looks odd. So leave it as be i'm going to leave these markers on for a little bit because just getting used to the map and where things are but this is going to be our farm um this is the map and like i say um there's a really cool area over here i'll get up in landscaping mode and show you and the price is the land some of it is a little bit pricey but you would expect that some decent sized fields on here. So that's 296 grand. I was going to start there and try and build up. And I thought that'd be quite a good idea. And then build up to buying the farm. But if you want to buy this farm, it's a whopping 2.4 million. And I think that will take a long time to get there. I just think that would be too much. So that was all what was, you know, rumbling around in my little brain. And I just thought, Do you know what, let's just get on here and have a bit of fun just play this game like i probably would behind closed doors and hopefully like i say you guys will stick with it some people might think i don't like the way you're playing it it's too easy whatever and then they'd stop watching but that's your choice i hope you don't and i don't want to make it too easy so we are going to get rid of a lot or a fair bit of our equipment we do start off with four tractors we don't need four i think we need two at the max so we will sort that out um anyway yeah two cow barns over here i think this one holds 300 this is 200 can't remember about the pigs but i think it's quite a lot possibly three or maybe 500 and the horses is about 
14 or 16 but we're not going to have that many we do also have a oh it's not really showing up like that but that production symbol there we have got a pig food production built into our farm so again we'd like to get that up and running so we can sort of feed our pigs ourselves we don't have to buy those things in but anyway new farm mode this is what they start you off with so like i say main farm we've got three fields there there and then we've got kind of like a meadow it's grass but it's that meadow grass so it's not showing up so we can always plow that through and do something now again another one of my ideas i sold off this bit of land and i bought this field up here because I was thinking, um, I think that was oats in the game I loaded in, but it's actually sugar beet there. Because as part of the recipe, I'll just show you of the productions for the pig food. We're going to need these, either these ingredients, should I say, so corn, barley, canola or sugar beet. Or we can go for this recipe, sorghum, wheat, sunflower and potatoes. That probably is the one I will pick because we do already have two wheat fields if i scoot back up we do have two wheat fields here and here we've got soybeans so we can sell that once we've harvested that will make a bit of money for us and maybe we can buy some other fields there's a little potato field up there yeah but i was thinking maybe i don't know harvest this field maybe turn that into a grass field these little dots there that is the electricity lines running through our field so that's going to be a little bit awkward to harvest but we could always turn that into a grass field and maybe plow this up and have a little potato field there it's not the best shape to have a potato field but hey ho it could be challenging and there's some quite nice little long rectangular fields over this side which are reasonably cheap maybe grass we could go in there that's probably grass oh that one is grass that one's just vacant i think so yeah so as we build up we can do things like that as well but we, we will just get going um i have tweaked some of the settings already i'll just quickly show you them and then i promise you we will get going so we are going to be our normal economy seasonal growth i've turned off we're going to run two days per month we can always sleep through if we need to snow's on i'm playing with everything else on guys which is not been done for quite some time from myself so field stones i'd like to try and get some sort of lime production going with the stones i think so again so we can be a bit more self-efficient and i am very open to suggestions for mods and things like that guys i know there is a couple of line production mods but i'm hoping to keep some of it on our farm and i'll show you why because we've got a little bit of space over there so yeah weeds on dirt normal i've turned that off this is all off i've turned the fuel usage to normal because it was on low and i've turned all the helper stuff off there is collectibles on them on here i'm not going to go hunting for them but they should be sort of fairly easy to find because it's the wooden toys so we'll grab them as we go like i say that is the productions there is contracts available paying out pretty good so we can do those that is the barns and pens we've got some of our equipment is a little bit ropey but we will probably be getting rid of some of that and plenty of places to sell i think that's about it really so our equipment and again i'm not going to go too mad in it this is what we start off with quite a lot so like i say four tractors we don't really need them i'm thinking of keeping the zeta because it's quite fitting for this area um that does have a front loader attached to it so that will come in handy as well with the front loaders we're going to get rid of these three we're going to keep the harvester i'll just quickly show you what we're going to probably get rid of and some of it will need to be replaced and some of it won't be replaced the pickup i'm not sure we're going to need a pickup so we'll probably sell that these trailers i might get rid of and just replace them with a couple of mods again i want to try mods that i haven't used at all this header is decent but i'm going to go with a larger one the i've got a new holland draper one installed but we'll go for that again corn header i may get rid of 
this mulcher we're going to get rid of and replace it with something a little bit more useful plow i'm not going to keep because i'm not very keen on plow so we'll probably get a subsoiler for that cultivator possibly might go and we'll again replace it with a maybe a little bit more efficient mod this paro harrow that's hooks up with these cedars we've got two of i'm going to get rid of those cedars because they're not very wide anyway we've got pretty good fields a uh, pretty big field should i say planter can go not too worried at the minute about buying cedars or planters we could lease this roller will go but that will coincide with the mulcher you'll see in a second i'm going to keep the sprayer because we are running weeds and we have got a liquid fertilizer storage tank on the farm which will come in handy hopefully fertilizer spreaders we've got these two guys I'm going to keep the Amazon. I might get rid of the breed all or bread all and swap it for something else. So you're probably already thinking you're going to make loads of money from selling all this. Yes, but we do need to buy some more equipment to replace those things. And if we've got any spare change left, I am going to buy another field if we can. So it's not like we're going to come on here and we've got loads of money to start with. Manure spreader and slurry tank we are going to keep because I do not really do those at all. So it'd be nice to try and use them to get them going. Weeder uh, we may keep or we may just spray our weeds. I will decide. Mower setup we've got a side and a front mower. I'm going to keep them. Tether and wind rower will keep. Keep this loading wagon. I'm going to get rid of this baler. There's nothing wrong with it but again... I'm going to replace it with a baler that I want to use. A bell loader we'll get rid of and probably get an auto load one just to be lazy. I'm going to keep the feed mixer, animal transport. I might get rid of that because we're not going to have horses for a while. So probably sell that. Um, a leveler and those will probably keep i think maybe i don't know i might get rid of them actually because i don't tend to use them that much front loader will keep and the tools header trailers we'll get rid of both of them because i'm not going to keep those headers and um, free weights i probably will get rid of one of those so what i'm going to do now guys is reset all of that equipment that I said I was going to get rid of and I'm going to sell it and I'll bring you back in. We should have quite a bit of money in our back pocket, but we will then go shopping. So see you shortly. All right, as you can see, we are quite a bit richer, but we are a lot lighter in terms of equipment, as you can see. So cat the Zeta, that's all stayed got rid of a few things but we need to go shopping so the first thing we're going to do is buy another tractor and this is kind of where all our sort of money is going to go and a mod came out the other day which i really really liked and it's these two guys it's part of the same mod pack the mccormack 8x vt drive and landini landini series 8 i'm going to go for the landini i think just such an awesome tractor we will go for the highest um, engine setup which is 310 horsepower which is cool now the only thing i've just checked is the zeta does not have narrow tires and this guy won't have either so that could be a little bit of an issue but we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it going to go with bkts and we're going to go wide tires and weights that is the front fender we'll keep that i really like that second blue slightly darker that just looks awesome interior we're going to keep it the same rim colors i think we'll go night shadow that black awesome look at that so we'll buy that there you go straight away 246 grand so that is wow hurt us a little bit um things we need to buy in headers we are going to scoot all the way to the end so i know roughly where i'm going and what i'm buying because like i said i was on here the other night messing around so we're going to go for this draper so we can tow it to the fields we can tow it with the tractor or the harvester but it's a 13.71 one 
not even sure it's going to fit in any of our sheds but we'll buy it that's 89 grand again so there we go trailers i am going to still go for the similar sort of idea with joining these up um making a train daisy chain whatever you want to call it out of them but i'm going to go for again a mod i haven't used these the tardis we're not going to go for the xl because that's got the unrealistic we're going to go for these guys quite cheap as well and we're going to go without the extension but they're still twenty thousand litre capacities i quite like them pretty cool um we will keep oh those various styles look quite nice don't they oh it's bumping it up look it's bumping the price up this is where it could get a little bit i think we'll leave that are we going to get charged for color change don't worry i'm not going to pick that yellow i'm just checking yeah well right let's just keep standard i expect the rim color again is going to be yeah we'll keep them like that i think we should be able to hook them up to each other because it's got a pin hitch on the back and it is actually a pin hitch attacher so two of those now obviously as we progress we could maybe get a truck and a trailer to help us and maybe buy like a auger wagon or something to go backwards and forwards part the truck up but we will see as we go so that's two of those so that and the header we're not going to worry about corn just yet anything like this we're not going to worry stone pickers we can lease i'm not going to go for that now in is it in here no it must be in rollers then this is the guy we got rid of the base game one but same price there's this mod which again i have not used it is the same working width and horsepower required slightly faster speed as well which is good in fact over double the speed the good thing about this guy is you can have it as a field roller a grass roller so we can get our fertilizer state on our grass if we don't want to use fertilizer and it's a mulcher two grand those two configs so i think we'll buy it in the mulcher configuration to start with because that's probably going to be coming up next once we've harvested those wheat fields so we'll do that um the wheels i think we'll probably keep the same i quite like those bkt's though main color are we going to get charged for that oh we've got some weird and wonderful yeah 500 no we'll keep that as is i'm not worried about that so again we'll buy that that's another 43 grand we're not even gonna have a money to buy another field here are we <laughs> and we will buy a plow and we're gonna go for this usual guy which is a favorite of quite a few people i think think we will go for the nine meter just to shall we yeah it's only two grand more i think we'll go for that just to um make things a little bit easier again that's probably something that's not hugely required but um cultivator and the reason why i'm buying all of this now is because it gets it out of the way and then we can see what we've got left in terms of money for a field now do we need a cultivator if we was to get a direct drill i don't think we do we could cut that out um what else do we require oh yes in here for spreading our lime i'm going to get this guy again big fan of this mod we will go for the extended so we can fill that right up with lime and that should last for a long time although that is 15 grand um right what's the difference oh it's just the visual effects i think i prefer that i think we're oh i don't know actually 
Oh, let's just bite the bullet. Let's go for it. Um, lizard, trailer ball. Just go lizard. Not fussed about that. We won't worry about designs. Cover. I'm not too fast. It can live in one of the sheds. We've got tons of storage on that farm. It's madness. We will. Oh, look, that's bumping that right up. It's still quite cheap, though, to be honest. 15 or 24. Um, do we get stung for this? No, or should we go for some really out there colours? Um, about some, about some orange. It's like a metallic-y. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? But we'll go for it. I'm all up for a bit of weirdness. That is the tank. Should we go all... That's probably a little bit too much, isn't it? Or is it? They're going to see us coming down the road, aren't they? Spinners. Have we got a nice chrome? We do. There we go. And a cover. We haven't got a cover. Rim colour. Oh, that's... Chrome affection. Oh, there we go. That would do. That would do me. Look at that. Thirty-seven thousand two hundred. Um, what else were we requiring? A baler again. Another mod I've been wanting to try for a long time is this, which is awesome by the sound of it. Like I say, not used it. it is a it's basically this fast bell but configured just insanely so <laughs> we'll try that um i think we'll keep the trailer boards on that one no brand should we have a brand giants i'll tell you what let's be nice to giants and we'll put their logo on it shall we foil color oh look at all these Tell you what, I quite like that. We'll go for that. Um, giants, that probably should be some sort of... I quite like that red, actually, that I've just picked. Or should that be black? Yeah, that black, actually. That one looks... Oh, that's hideous. Don't like that don't like that yeah that's one there i think it's kind of like a matte black uh rim colors we're not getting charged for this so we'll go for it chrome oh yeah look at that i think we've got the same number plate on everything but that doesn't matter 61 grand wow right we're definitely not gonna be able to buy a field are we for that Bell loaders. We will get one of them because we're going to be bailing the straw. So this is the guy we started off with, but I'm pretty sure, yes, I have pretty similar, I think it is. It is the same model. It's an auto load. Um, we'll put the, ex oh, actually, do we need extensions? We'll put the extensions on. I don't know what way the bells are going to sit on there. Wow, that's another 1,200. No, we don't need extensions. Right, I think that is us done for now. Like I say, anything we... <laughs> that leaves us with 43 grand. Oh well, that's still a decent amount, but not enough to buy a field. 114 for that. How much is that little forestry plot? 123, yeah, we are not. 94, these have got to be quite cheap, but they're pretty, at the minute, pretty not worth buying. 
Right, we'll probably leave it for that. 21 gram. What does that look like there? That's that little plot there. That's quite cute, isn't it? Oh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. A few trees on here we could probably get rid of. Maybe a little potato field in there. Hmm, that could be a little project. I don't know how far this way we could stretch to, though. That's my only worry, because that is the edge of the map. How much is it going to let us... Well, that's something we can think about later. But anyway, I will get all of this back to the farm, and then we will actually do something this episode. I just wanted to keep you guys in here just to show you what we've swapped out and what we've bought and why I've bought it. So I hope you didn't mind, but I will see you in a minute. Look at that. Wow, I love that. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute when this is all back at the farm. Money well spent. Time will tell. Last piece of equipment going back to the farm. I mean, just look at the size of this field to our right, which is by our farm, but that's just under a million to buy. So, some really huge fields out the front and to the side of our farm which is well something to maybe aim for i guess i don't know right in here we do have a cool way station as we drive in so we we'll quickly check yeah beautiful fuel tank so that can be filled up as and when right what have we got here fertilizer spreader we honestly tons of storage I've put a couple of things under there. That header sticks out a little bit, so it is what it is. We'll just put this somewhere for now. I don't know where. Um, I can always rejiggle things. And then up here, it's kind of that's already was there, so that's kind of like our grass. I guess our grass equipment. I don't know. I'll tell you what, let's just not worry about it. Right, well, let's put this here actually. There's a nice shed. It's easy access. And we will put that little fella in there if I can reverse properly. And I'll quickly show you in landscaping mode our farm because, like I say, if you're not familiar with this map, you will know you will not know rather what is going on. So let's turn everything off. So we came in over here off the main road. This is our main entrance with a gate. We do have another gate over the other side. So as you can see, we've got all this storage space this is the horse barn this is where our sleep triggers inside this building we've also got there's our harvester there you can use these bays as a workshop trigger there there's also a workshop there all of this is storage this is part of our silo and the pig food production do have a silo in and out there as well and there's one inside that building liquid fertilizer tank loads of storage space as you can see and then i think there's six silage bunkers bunker silos like so another gate that leads out that way and then our animal pens over here but down this far end there is quite a large empty space so like i said earlier about the lime production anything like that could go here or storage tanks for I don't know, lime or anything like that, so we can get it from, you know, the farm if need be. We do have a water tower as well, I forgot about that. Not that we need to give the animals water, so that's a little bit odd. This is our uh, meadow, so it is just meadow grass, it's not proper grass. So we could probably turn that into a potato field. That's one of our 
wheat fields the other ones over the other side of the road which is what we are going to go and harvest now and as you can see there's the electricity pylons running through the middle of it which isn't great only three of them but that's enough and then it is our soybean field which is here so once that is ready to harvest pretty good size that is going to bring in quite a bit of money whilst i'm in landscaping mode i'll just quickly show you this area that i mentioned as well because if you wanted to come on here in a survival sort of mode you've got a sawmill and carpentry just there you've got all these trees this is a cool little spot you could probably you might not be able to sell that shed it's not allowing me to click on it but you could start there you can already create a field you've got trees to cut down that would be an awesome um little start this is what i'm trying to say right let's grab our harvester i probably will do a little bit of tabbing here and there between vehicles because it will be easier again there's quite a bit of space out the front here as well so again little storage tanks silos sort of things if you know what i mean they could come in handy but it's all going to sort of come together in my head what we can do and can't do so this guy well is whoa what is going on there that was very close to the wall that's definitely going to need repairing <laughs> probably should have stayed in that camera mode i think we will quickly repair this um i wonder if we could drive up there this is going to go all horribly wrong isn't it oh there we go we're up we'll quickly repair that we do have a jet wash down here as well which is good that's probably going to cost a fair bit there we go might as well do that can't do the paint condition from there by the look of it which is weird we'll grab our i'll go the long way round aren't i i've got to get used to the yard as well that's the only other thing grab our header um someone's put that tractor in the way will this fit under there should do the harvester could probably live under there actually although it'd be nice to get all the vehicles parked in a proper shed the shed just in front of the harvester is where all the tractors were living when you load in on new farmer mode so that could probably be the best place for the actual vehicles um let's just check where we're going so we want to come down and we want to go i'm guessing we get into the field of that way i will probably have to double check that actually because i don't want to be getting stuck and then having to turn around with this harvester so let's have a quick check so we would go all the way down um that's our field so yeah up there oh yeah in there right cool um just check we're all good to go beacons on and off we go so some of this harvesting is going to take a little while that's pretty obvious bigger fields so there'll probably be maybe a little couple of time lapses jump cuts things like that but this is such a cool map is that person going to cross the road they are we will stop because we have to are you going to cross as well yeah you just anyone else Got things to do here you know Right, just put that mini map on. Um, it is literally the next turning. So just here. Try not to knock any signs down because I think they do actually fall over when you hit them. 
Now, hopefully, if we can park like that. Turn those off. Should be able to just reverse into that person's field slightly. And we need to make sure we've got straw swath enabled. So we we'll just double check that. I always forget the button. So yeah, it's not enabled. I turn that off. And I'm not sure what sort of state this field's in. Pretty rubbish. So it needs liming and ploughing. It's not even been fertilised. So great, we're not going to get a huge amount off of that. Right, let's unfold. Ah, not that one. Come on. There we go. Right, now we're in business. So as you can see, decent sized header. Should make our life a bit easier. Now I could have used the tall height control mod. I think that's okay to use now because there was a bit of an issue with it, I believe. But I thought, no, we will go with it. We'll harvest at the normal speed. But even this little field's going to take a little while. It's a lovely day, a lovely view. I think that's our um, wheat field over there, if I can get out of the trees. Just across through, there's a little sort of town there in between the two fields, or our two fields. I mean, to be fair, this probably is a bit too big, do you think, for a grass field? Let me know your thoughts, but obviously we will need to get quite a bit going because to feed the cows, I'd like to do it the proper way, I'd like to use TMR, we've got our feed mixer there, so we'll need at least hay and silage, I'm not too worried about all the minimal feed and that, you can get away with just using hay and silage. But obviously we need grass for the silage, and then we need, well obviously we do need grass for hay, but you know what I mean, we'd have to kind of do half and half if we were to go straight away with that uh, I think we'll go round so we give ourselves a bit better chance of manoeuvring round to the bottom here All these little tracks, they just go in between all the fields and they lead off to different areas. It's pretty cool. You can get around the map pretty easy. And there is two other farms on here as well. There's another one there. I think that was just two pig barns or pig styes. And down here we've got chicken and sheep. But I don't think we'll get that far. Because I'm not 100% sure how long this series will go on for, but it kind of depends what else sort of happens with things. And whether I enjoy the map, I guess. I think I will. I mean, I won't just abruptly end it, it will be brought to an end properly. I think it's going to be quite enjoyable. It's a really nice map. I do really enjoy harvesting as well at this speed. I don't always like to use the tall height control, but I just get a bit worried when I'm recording and obviously putting videos out there of just going around the field. You know, it's some guys 
some of you guys would really want to see all of it some of you wouldn't want to see all of it it's, uh, it's very difficult sometimes to judge what to do but I mean it is very therapeutic I think doing some of this farm and I think that's what sort of hooked me in on this game was just how relaxing and chilled out it is going from playing sort of games like FIFA and Call of Duty we are almost full guys so we will need to come back pipe out I'm hoping let's give our tractor trailer a bit of chance to get round there um, we want this guy I have to say I absolutely love this tractor it's pretty quiet though there's not a lot of engine noise I'm not sure how I feel about that because I do like the sound of a nice tractor especially the older sort of ones that cough and splutter about so we'll hook up to these so we've got 40,000 litres now I know I could have just got one trailer for that sort of capacity but it would have cost us more money yes we do have a little bit left over I'm still undecided about what to do with that because we could bring ourselves right down with money to make it a bit more harder because I know some people will be like well you've got loads of equipment already you've got all the equipment you need it's just going to be boring which I hope <laughs> you don't think that but what we could do and again I'm open to suggestions or give me your thoughts but as an idea I've just thought of is could we I probably could have cut down through there I'm not sure um, could we take out a bit of a loan so that we could afford to buy another field so then that puts us in debt and would lower our money right down but I don't want it to be too much of a struggle as to sort of the fact that we're, we can't buy any animals for a long long time because I would love to get those animals up and running I mean I think with the cows that would be pretty good for money for milk and things like that pigs they're pretty cool to do but um, I think the amount of money you sort of outlay for them you don't get a huge return from them and I'm not sure we'll, we'll be doing the whole breeding the pigs I, well I know you, on console we can't get piglets and things like that as such but um, yeah I don't think we'll be doing the whole newborns to fattening them up and then selling but we'll see I don't know and again I'm open to suggestions this is a very open series this is going to be And in the next episode I think we will probably do the other field we'll pick up straw we'll probably bow the straw try out our new baler then we do have a loading wagon I don't think that's a huge capacity though so that could be a lot of to and fro in we just attack it with a baler come along with our auto load bow trailer pick up what we can we should be able to I forgot to show you that on the little whiz around the farm we do have a bow and pallet loading shed as well which is pretty cool which has been built into the main farm so we can store bows in there I'm not sure we'll keep much in the way of pallets in there maybe the odd sort of 
bag of seed I don't know but then again that comes down to if we put um, some sort of seed and lime fertilizer silo things on our farm where we can purchase oh in fact I put cruise control on I think if I remember rightly over here yes farm supplies trader I think they and we can also buy wheat as well that's interesting and oats for animals I think we can buy seeds yes from there and fertilizer I don't know about lime where is lime quick 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 before the harvester goes out of sync um, liquid and solid fertilizer and there's a lime station where was the lime station let's stop them there 179 right tag that up where is that oh there oh yes i remember now it's down at the, that's not too bad is it we can always cut through there right that's something to note i will consider that i think and this is where the fun starts good thing about if this was a grass field is we wouldn't really need to mess around doing this would we would just literally mow up to that and around easy but anyway I think we will leave it there for that episode guys so i will just continue this that is all i will do the wheat by the way it will be stored in our silo for now we're not going to sell anything just yet and like i say any suggestions your thoughts on the taking out a bit of a loan just to buy another plot of land even if it was just like this guy here and that could be then our grass field because that's not a bad size that so what was that again 132 grand so possibly like a hundred grand loan that would then leave us about six grand so that's not a huge amount is it But your thoughts or any other areas on the farm up uh, the farm on the map that could be of interest um, this guy would earn us a bit of money but I'm not sure I want to get sort of all too forestry on here could chop a few down every now and then but we'll see right we're almost full I think we will empty this into the trailers and I probably will leave it there guys but I'm quite looking forward to this series actually kind of almost feels like a live stream but obviously not live And it's nice for me to kind of just get on a map and just play it because obviously if you guys follow my channel regularly you'll know I've been doing survival role play and that kind of um, not takes it out of you but it can kind of um, sort of burn you out a little bit because you're constantly trying to think of good ideas to come up with and I was always trying to end the episodes on little cliffhangers and that and it kind of does yeah get you oh I've left that on I'll turn that off in a minute it kind of does get your brain working a bit too much and it's nice to just be able to come on somewhere like this and just right let's have a chill out and 
you know, play the game how I want to play the game. With a few suggestions from you guys as well, which would be cool. That has fitted in there a treat. Right, people. Thank you so much if you are still here watching this point now. Really appreciate it. But if you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Please let me know your thoughts on the potential of this series. If you think you're going to enjoy it. If I've made it too easy. Anything. If you think it's going to be challenging. I don't know. But really like reading all your comments. And I do reply to you guys. So yeah. Please let me know. That would be fantastic. But as always. Stay frosty.